Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Listen, today I'm just, uh, I'm going to make some Salisbury steak, um, <laughs> Salisbury steak patties. I'm going to cook them in the oven this time with a little bit of gravy, uh, homemade gravy that we're going to make. And yeah, look, that's my kitchen back there. I have most of the things ready. As you guys know, I've already sauteed. Uh, my onions and bell peppers and I added in some garlic paste and also some Italian seasoning into that saute um, blend and I, I put it to the side because I don't want it hot when I put it over into my meat mixture uh, so today we're going to be kneading uh, for the Salisbury steak I'm gonna just use some regular uh, salt and pepper some garlic powder some onion powder I'm going to use uh, one egg, uh, some Dijon mustard, a little bit of ketchup, and some W sauce. We're gonna pat that out, put it over into my skillet, uh, let it kinda cook, but not really, not all the way through because you're gonna put it in the oven on 400 for about an hour. So anywho, we're gonna get started here. Be right back. All right guys, so I have everything set up here that I'm going to use. This is a three pound uh, thing of ground turkey. You guys know what it is. I always use the ground turkey. It's just one of my favorite uh, meats to cook with. And that goes over in, off up in there. Okay, I'm gonna take um, my hand shit and kind of move the meat around off up in there. A good, good, good picture, good view. All right, so let me just rinse my hand off from that meat and give me a little paper towel over here so I can keep myself clean. So, guys, oh my god, the weather over here. First of all, let me tell you, it is five o'clock here on the west coast, uh, LA to be exact. I know I keep saying the west coast, but I am from South LA. If you guys are familiar with, um, the Rodney King, uh, oh no, that was that was the other guy, not Rodney King, but it was like the other Reginald Denny, the one that had got pulled out over there on Florence and Normandy. I'm just a couple of blocks from there, so yeah, I'm just a LA educated, you know, mother. I got my degree, my bachelor's degree from Cal State LA in 2019 in polit political science with the minor in public administration. So I was gonna talk about the weather because the weather here is like changing, but I know a lot of you guys are from other states, other cities. I'm just interested in what the weather is out there. So right here we just have, this is one of my favorite little things I have now. This is the Mesquite salt blend, salt and pepper. I absolutely love it because there's not that much sodium in it just 280 milligrams compared to your regular salt that's like oh my god thousands of milligrams of sodium over in there anywho I'm going to use some garlic powder I'm going to throw in a little bit of onion powder now this is not my favorite onion powder but it's what I have right now, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of that in there. I'm also going to add in uh, some Worcestershire, well, some W sauce, because I hate to get it wrong. But we're gonna add in probably like a half a cup of it or less. <laughs> we're gonna add in some Dijon mustard in there. I'm gonna add in a little bit of ketchup as well in there I have my egg well let me add in my breadcrumbs I'm going to use some garlic and herb breadcrumbs throw that off over in there and then the egg that we need to bind it throw that there and also the bell peppers and onions that I sauteed up just gonna toss those over into the mixture here. 
and I should have my damn skillet ready, but I've been running my mouth with y'all, okay? Well, let me get my skillet over here warmed up before I get that little mixture going there. I'm gonna use, um, damn it. I'm gonna use some avocado oil just to kind of base, uh, just to kind of get the meat to, you know, do what I wanted to do. So this is a non-stick skillet, but I also still like adding a little oil in there when I am doing uh, Salisbury steaks. Okay. Anywho, I have everything in here. Sometimes I got to double check y'all because I be missing shit. And I, I'm, and I looked over here, I am missing something. And y'all know what it is because I absolutely love it. And it's that magical dish. <laughs> The parsley, that magical herb, I should say, parsley. Mm. All right, that like that. So now we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna get dirty. We're gonna mix this all together and I'm gonna see how many patties I get out of this. You can add more if you like, you can add more breadcrumbs. If you like, some people like to add Ritz crackers. Some people like to add um, uh, dehydrated mashed potatoes. But I like to use the breadcrumbs, okay? It's kind of like doing a meatloaf, but you're just making patties, basically. And so this is the way the meat should look when you have all of your herbs in there and your spices and your bell peppers and things. So I'm gonna go over here, go ahead and pat these out and switch this over to the other side here. Cause y'all know I don't have that much room. Let me get this out of the way. Ah, I'm telling y'all, I need a bigger kitchen because my God today and even still this is not so let me move you guys over this way i didn't cut the camera because i didn't feel like doing it so you guys over here skillet i'm gonna go ahead and pat out um some pretty decent size patties that i want in there only about that size can you guys see that shit they probably the hand size I don't know when my skillet is off. I've done everything to get it back on track, but it's not working. Why? So remember, we're not going to um, cook this all the way through. We're just going to brown these up and put them in my other tray and put them in the oven on 400 um, for about an hour. I'm gonna get all these in here. Yeah, I have, um, guys, I'm going to Alaska. I have finally planned a cruise to Alaska. Um, it's not until next year, but I am super duper excited about it. The only thing is that it's gonna be cold as hell. And baby, let me tell you, I don't even do well in LA cold, let alone um, Alaska. So it would be interesting to see how well I do. <laughs> guys, hold on. All right guys, so I'm making the flip over right now. This is the way that I want it to look. I don't want them to be cooked um, all the way through. Just have a little char on it. And so I should have left that one there a little bit longer, but I'll fix it up. Let's see it. There they are. Flipped over. And we're going to let it cook a little while on the other side and take them out. Alright guys, so this is where I want to take them out of the skillet and place them over into my little container I have here that I'm going to put in the oven. Okay. So remember, they're not cooked completely. 
you just want them cooked to where um, they can cook in the oven. I flip that over. And then we're going to put this here. And I'm going to pat out the other patties. I'm going to get that all done and we'll be back. Alright guys, so we're coming down on the last of the patties that I'm sauteing in the skillet there. There they are over in my dish being prepared to go into the oven. <clears throat> and we're going to be making some homemade gravy in a second here. I'm so pissed I don't have like a package gravy. I would have rather doctored that up than making some gravy from scratch. But hey, we can do it. We're here for it. Okay, guys, right, so we're going to get these patties out of here. Put them over into my dish here. I'm going to keep that goodness in there. I'm going to add my uh, onions into the mix there. <clears throat> I sometimes like to add um, bell peppers and all of that, but I'm not going to do it this time because I um, have it in the meat and that's more than enough for me. So I'll take up some of the yeah, meat I mean, right here, which this skillet kind of cooks faster than I would like it to. That's not the wrong spot. I don't really like to use this one. That's too funny. But anyway, let me tear this down a little bit. I'm going to add in my uh, flour here. Now, I just eyeball the flour. I don't need that much of it, but I need enough of it, okay? Make it enough. <laughs> and so I'm going to mix that around in there until I get my flour the color that I want it to be. <clears throat> I'm going to switch my spoon up because I don't like this. Oh my God, guys, I thought I was recording the damn video. Anyway, I had to add a little bit more oil into here so I can get my fry up. And so now I'm just browning the gravy so that it can be that brown color. <laughs> that I want. I have been making gravy for so long and the damn shit would always come out like white. And I learned that you had to add, it was something that you needed to add in there to make it brown. But we're going to do this. I just like trying to get it the color consistent, the color that I like. And we're going to get this um, you guys let me know how you guys do your gravy. Okay, I kind of let it cook for a little while. I kind of like to let the, the flour and the grease and the onions and all that marry each other before I put in the water, okay? Plus, this skillet is a little off. Like, it cooks faster in this area of the skillet. If you guys can see that, and I don't like that. I'm probably gonna add a little beef uh, onion, dip an onion soup in here. Of course, I'm gonna add some Worcester sauce in here. And so, in a second or two, I'm gonna add in um, my water so that we can get this gravy built up. Alright. Alright guys, so we're going to start to gradually add in our water here into this gravy mixture that I've been mixing around for quite some time trying to get the color that I want. And I'm going to add, oh, hold on, my dog is going to go crazy. Hold on. Alright guys, so there it is. Uh, I'm going to add in a little bit of this salt and pepper mixture in here. I'm going to add in a little, oh well, I 
thought I was, but I'm gonna add in some garlic powder here. I'm gonna add in a little W sauce. I am actually looking for my um <clears throat> this is my beef onion. And I'm gonna use a little bit of this over in here and we're going to turn the fire down shit you don't need no fire that damn heavy i'm going to add in some beef onion package and then we're going to stir that up as such now remember this doesn't have to be cooked all the way through because you're going to put it in the damn oven and cook it so we're going to turn it down a little bit there. I have my mushrooms I'm going to add over in the mixture because I do want mushroom in my gravy. So if you have gravy and you don't, you want it thicker than what you made it, then you can add a little cornstarch to that to kind of thicken up the gravy. And so this is fine. This is exactly how I want it. Okay, so let me show you guys. You see the color on that? It's the color that I want. It's the consistency that I want. So I'm gonna turn that off. And then I'm going to take my mixture. And let me kind of see if I can kind of load you guys up a little bit. Probably not. Okay, so place. So I'm gonna take it and I'm going to <laughs> try to pour it on top of my meat mixture here. I'm gonna try to get it all evenly on there. I'm gonna get my spoon. Don't worry, I'm gonna bring you guys over into and I'll do it the wrong way because the handle is there. But anywho, let me move this over here out of the way. Okay, and I couldn't put it um I should have get it over there. I couldn't put it closer guys because the damn burner is hot over here. So let me move it just a little bit to show you guys what it actually looks like there it is there you guys can see it of course i'm going to dust my parsley if i can find it i'm always losing something okay the parsley is around here somewhere it's, it's literally sitting in my damn face guys okay so okay i had to see if it was recording all right so we're gonna dust some parsley on top of here and then we're going to put this in the oven covered on 400 for an hour and we'll be back all right guys so i just pulled this out of the oven oh my goodness it smells incredible the gravy is perfect the way that i want it to be I am, I have some, I'm going to show you guys. Give me one second. I'm going to bring you guys closer. All right. So here we go right here. Look at that turkey Salisbury steak in the oven. I have some sweet peas here that I put a bunch of stuff in. Um, season, I seasoned it with uh, that mesquite uh, salt and pepper, some garlic powder, uh, some bell peppers and onions, but this is the star of the show. My God, guys, look at that beautiful Salisbury steak. I'm going to now make some homemade mashed potatoes. I'm going to pair it all together and I'll be back. All right, guys, so we're going to plate this up here. I'm going to get me a spoon. God damn it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I am starving. So we're gonna get some potatoes. I'm gonna put that here. These are fresh, homemade mashed potatoes. 
that I have here. The gravy. I love gravy on that. Ooh, look at that. And I'm just going to get me a meat patty and put that right there. I'm going to get me some green beans. Well, sweet peas. I love sweet peas. It's seasoned to perfection. I'm going to add me some there. And guys, this is going to be my dinner for tonight. Look at that gravy there. Look at the mashed potatoes, those sweet peas. I'm going to really enjoy this meal. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please remember to like, comment, and share, and also subscribe to my channel if you're already, if you're not already here rocking and rolling with us. Until next time, guys, I'll see you soon. Mwah. I love you. Bye.